Hi, uh, in the series of uh, self preparation plan, uh, so many things supposed to be talked about. I'm recording this as the last video in the series and a lot more that we would be discussing when we meet in person. I would like to uh, tell you about the power of the moment that you're going to spend in the interview room. This is a very vital part of your uh, total career that you're going to have later because I meet some of my friends who are retired and, and when they talk about the examination process, most of them, they end up talking about their interview part. 20, 25, 30 minutes they may have spent inside, but they almost remember every question that was asked by the board at that point in time, decades ago. This is the power of this moment I would like you to really appreciate and cherish. A lot of you uh, go into the board assuming that, I mean, hey, what is this? This is like, stakes are big, I know, but you should not be finding it overwhelming. In fact, you give importance to the occasion in a manner that you're going to enjoy the whole thing. You work so hard to get those 20-25 uh, minutes of a constitutional body. Do you see how important this occasion is? For a young boy and girl like you, a constitutional body has organized five of their best minds to celebrate your success of mains. Think about it. It just can't get bigger than this. This is a very important moment and never worry about things that you have in your mind. A lot of things you worry about, like you worry about the gap year attempt. Some people are worried about. Some people are worried about uh, the performance they had in the school and the performance they had in the college. Some information they, they, they should have collected and they could not collect. Often the observations made by the mock interviewers, they find some fault in that and then uh, you say like, hey, come on, I don't have this. Well, I mean, these all negative things you should leave outside the UPSC building before you enter there. In fact, they should not stick to you. Because if you ask me with the experience that I have got of thousands of students, with gap years, we have got very high scores. With less facts, no answers, so many questions in a row, we have got good marks. With the people who had bad grades in their college, we have got good marks. With the people who were told that, hey, you just cannot do anything in life in mock interview, they scored very high. I'm telling you with my experience. I hope you believe me. If you do believe me, believe in the fact that you are only playing your strength. Don't worry about your weaknesses. We all have weaknesses. Weaknesses is not something which stops us. It's the strength that gets us. So I like you to capitalize on the strength that you have got and value every single moment that you have there. Value the time that you are going to spend. Tell yourself that whatever outcome, whatever marks they're going to give, irrespective, I have earned these moments and I'm going to enjoy this to the fullest. And when you're answering, you should have uh, answered in a manner that uh, pleases you, makes you happy about the whole situation that you're going to be part of very soon. Appreciate complexity. Don't give solutions like, I mean, how to eradicate poverty, I'll do this, this, this. Not like problem, diagnosis, solution. No, no, no PDS approach. Appreciate complexity. Those things when you're going to be hired, even after you've been uh, hired, you'll be a junior most officer of the country. Don't get into arguments. I mean, whenever you think that uh, you have an argument coming, use the technique of circuit breaker. Don't get into argument at all. Also, I would like to say that uh, you, 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 Take a stand which you can defend. It's unlike mains. In mains, you write an answer and nobody is really worried about that. Uh, they would ask you subsidiary questions. But then, when you're talking about uh, 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 questions and then you have given an answer, a subsidiary can be asked. So, you, you can possibly uh, give those stands or take those stands which are defendable. And there's no harm in changing the position. That's, that's being transparent. And then, if, if you have your basic orientation of enjoying the occasion every minute of it, I'm sure you are in the right spirit to give this interview and get good marks. Enjoy the whole process and believe in serendipity is what I would like you to keep in mind and start internalizing it. There's a lot to talk, a lot to discuss, a lot many more tools to share with you and we will do all when we meet in person. Till then, all the best.